Morning Sleepers, Victoria here. Um, I've just finished our morning live online class uh, with people from all around the world logged in. And um, we always finish our sleep online classes with a stretch and I thought I'd just give you um, one really good multifunctional stretch sequence which works to stretch out all the back of your hamstrings, and your glutes, into your calves, um, and also even a little bit of work into our abdominals as we go along. So, uh, if you follow along with me, we do it just once each side, you can obviously go on to do it two or three more times, or hold things a lot longer once you're more familiar with it. We're going to start by rolling down through the top of the head, so just stretch out to the spine, all the little nerve ends into your neck, and then into your mid-back. Start to peel down through the spine into your fingertips and just grazing the mat. If you're not quite there yet, don't worry. We're going to add a demi plie into those legs. Flatten the palms down into the floor. Now stretch out into these calves and these Achilles. As you drop the bottom low, think of pressure through the palms of the hands as well as through the soles of the feet. Good, then start to walk these hands out in front of you and find a plank position. Now, if you're not comfortable with full plank, you can always drop those knees down into a three-quarter plank. But here, think of rolling those shoulders down, engaging the tummy, and also engaging your glutes and strength across your shoulders too. Now, lifting the bottom high, we're going to create a pike position. Still on two high demi points before we press them down into the floor, lengthening out, adjust your feet as you need. The important thing is try and get these heels flat so if your feet have to be closer to your hands, just step them in another inch and work for lengthening out into the backs of those calves and pressing the heels into the floor. Now, try not to arch the upper back here, press and flatten the shoulders as well. Good, so you should have a nice flat back a nice elongated hamstrings and calves. From here, we're going to brush one toe high up. No, this leg obviously doesn't have to go perpendicular, go to where it can. You're still getting a good stretch into your supporting leg. Now, lengthening out to those abdominals, we're going to bend at the knee and let the weight of the leg fall to the side so the hips open but the shoulders stay square. We're stretching our deep abdominal muscles or our psoas here before we lengthen back up and find your punching position. Again, lengthening out into the calves and hamstrings, draw the knee in towards the chest. And again, find your plank, but on three points, slightly more challenging. Before we rotate this leg in the hip socket, extend the back leg out, and now we're stretching into our glutes. So adjust yourself if you need, and use your hands to bring you upright. A deeper glute stretch now as we bring the body over the front leg, resting down into the backs of the hands with the forehead, or down into the forearms if you need to modify which is even if you're to here, that's fine. As long as you're feeling a stretch into this glute area, try to keep the back knee pulled up and straight. Then to release it coming back the way we came, place your hands back either side of your front leg, tuck your back toe underneath and find your plank. So repeating that whole sequence on the second side, lift the bottom high. Two high demi points, stretch into those metatarsals. Then press the heels, adjust the feet if you need so the heels are flat. Stretch out into the calves and into the Achilles. Flatten those shoulders as well. Back on the opposite leg, toe to ceiling. Find your ponche position. Bend at the knee and let the weight of the leg just fall to the side. So you open the hips, the shoulders stay square to the side. This stretches deep into our abdominals, our psoas muscles that attach right down onto our hips. So it helps with our flexibility as well. Lengthen that toe back up towards the ceiling. And as you come back to your plank, now slightly more challenging, three-point plank as you draw that knee to chest. Rotate in that hip socket and place the foot down on the right angle. Adjust your hands as you need and you can bring those hips round to face the side if possible. Keeping this back leg elongated, take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, down, walk down as far as you can. Either forehead to the backs of your hands or forearms is absolutely fine. Or even if you're just here, what we're aiming for is a stretch into the glute muscle of the bent leg. Take a couple of deep breaths here, and then reversing back the way you came, coming up, planting the hands either side of your front leg. Tuck your back toe underneath, use your arms to push and release that leg, back to your plank position. Push back to two high demi points, and this time as you walk, the heels come slightly closer in towards your hands. Good, from this low parallel position, reversing the way we came down. Now coming up, peeling from the base of the spine and upwards through the mid back, to the upper back, while the shoulders up and back. Well done ladies, repeat this twice or even four times on each side and enjoy it. Feel nice and lengthened and stretched and have a good rest of your sleep day. Ah, subscribe and join in for more tips later. I'll see you soon.